Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be swatching through this beautiful holiday 2020 collection from Morgan Taylor. The collection is called Shake Up the Magic and I really, really liked this collection. So what we have here is a number of creams. We have some soft and some punchy shades. We have some flaky things, some glitter things, some shimmer things. There really is the whole shebang in this collection. So we're going to get started. We're going to go in alphabetical order as always. We're starting with Bear and Toasty. This is a soft beige cream. All of the creams are going to be beautifully opaque in two coats with a smooth and easy application. So I did receive this collection for review from polishpick.com. If you've been with me for a while, you know that this is one of my go-to places for shopping mainstream brands because you can get them at a discount price. And I have just really enjoyed their website for a long time. So I will link that in the description bar below for you. Next up we have Be My Sugar Plum and this is gorgeous. It is the deeper mauve color out of the collection. We do have another kind of mauve shade. This one is rich and luscious, almost raisin looking. And I really liked it quite a bit. As you can see, it was basically opaque at one coat, but I'm going to go for a second coat. If you haven't tried Morgan Taylor in a while or just simply haven't tried this brand at all, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with what they're doing lately. Um, speaking of which, there are two glitter toppers in this collection. The Shake It Up collection features these glitters, which you're supposed to shake up right before you apply because they have a very thin base so as not to overload your nail with a ton of base uh, product. So you actually need to shake it up because the uh, formulation has such a thin base that all of the glitter sinks to the bottom, but it is so, so easy to uh, bring that out. This is California gold. So we have a gold and a silver. They are kind of basic glitters, but I did think that this was a really fun idea so that you don't have a super messy nail with a long, long dry time. So next we have the one shimmer polish in the collection, and this is a blackened uh, red with some beautiful red shimmer. This is very lovely for me. This shade um, kind of harkens to a number of other shades that we've seen recently in the same kind of formulation. But if you don't have something like this, it is vampy and beautiful. So that is center of attention and it was gorgeous in two coats. Next we have Chillin' with Jack, which is kind of a funny name in this collection. This is this light taupe gray with a tiny little pinch of purple in the base, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit, hardly anything at all. I really like this shade of gray. I was feeling it. Gray is one of my favorite shades to wear actually, because I feel like it's perfect for absolutely anything I ever want to do. Um, but yeah, I just really like this one on. So really appealed to me. That's chilling with Jack. Next we have one of the two flaky glitter combos, which are also in a matte base. So these are rather interesting. They give this really soft velvety look on the nail because of this glitter shimmer shred formulation. So this is the first of two and this one is the one that is slightly lilac tinted. You probably don't need both because they are so similar. That's don't snowflake on me. I'm going to show you a macro shot as well. They are super, super similar, uh, but subtly different. So if you really enjoy that formula, you might like having both of them. This is a gorgeous dark gray in the collection. It's very, very dark. This one almost looked slightly green leaning on my skin tone, but again, just like a touch. So maybe it's just my imagination, but it's probably just meant to be a super dark gray. Again, we have this two coat formula. It applies nice and easily. The ultra wide Morgan Taylor brush works really well for me. I do have a wider nail bed. So just be aware that it does have a wide brush. Fala love that color. Next, it's a wonderful mauve. So like I said, we did have another mauve coming up. This one is the lighter shade. I feel like this is just the color of the year. I've seen this color made so many times. In fact, not just the year. I feel like brands keep coming out with this year after year after year, and I'm not mad about it because I think it is such a flattering shade. This light mauve with a touch of blush in it is just so pleasing, so soothing. So that's, it's a wonderful mauve, a uh, great two coater. So this is the other matte uh, shred glitter <laughs> velvety kind of finish. Uh, this is the silver one. So it doesn't have any of that purple pigment in it. 
and it's going to swatch just like the other one. I found myself really enjoying these. If you don't like this look where, um, you know, you have these kind of thicker shreds on top, this may not be the polish for you, but I like that they tried something different. I think that they pulled it off. I think that it looks nice and snowy and comforting on the nail. It looks like when you wake up and it snowed the, the night before. So this is Midnight Sleigh Ride. And this is the one that's been on my thumb throughout the video. It's just a really deep indigo cream. Again, a two-coater. Um, but yeah, hearkening back to the kind of textured matte formula that they included in this collection. It may not be your jam, but I really enjoyed the fact that they tried something different. And in comparison to some other mainstream brands who've done a similar thing lately, this was actually my preferred formula. So if you're wondering where I stand on that. Stilettos in the Snow is just an ultra hot fire engine red just a gorgeous sexy shade perfect for holiday or really any time of year this is fantastic at just one coat um and i did notice like a little bit of hanging around after i was trying to take this off um it didn't quite stain my nails but it is a very very pigmented shade so i just want to put that out there but shabam that is gorgeous stilettos in the snow and i wanted to show you what this, uh, the shake me up formula looks like before you shake it up. So this is the silver in the collection. So it is going to come totally separated like that, but it's super, super easy to redisperse the glitter all throughout the base. So this is the shake up. And like I said, this is the silver one. These glitters aren't necessarily super original looking on the nail. I do have to admit, however, they are beautiful. They are kind of a classic timeless look on the nail to just give a little bit of sparkle and I really did find myself enjoying them so anyway this is how this polish applies and the rest of this beautiful Morgan Taylor collection so if you've been curious about it sound in down below let me know what you thought of it and like I said I really did enjoy it quite a bit I felt like the collection had a lot of classic colors plus they mixed it up with trying some different things and I really appreciated that so that's the whole collection review I hope you enjoyed I'll see you back for another one very soon and all the important stuff will be down in the description bar below thanks take care bye